A few weeks back when we were talking about variables or types of variables inside of JavaScript, we mentioned a variable type called a Boolean type. And the Boolean was unique in the sense in the way that it it basically could have one of two different values. It could be true or it could be false. Those are the only values that a Boolean variable can have. And the Boolean variable, um, at times our bo we need to perform arithmetic on our Boolean values and combine multiple values together to make a decision uh, inside of our code. And we can't use regular operation, the irregular operators on Boolean variables because multiplication and division and all of those types of operations don't make a whole lot of sense when you're dealing with true and false. Um, so there are special operators that we use to perform arithmetic, if you will, or logic in the um, on Boolean variables and we're going to talk a little bit about four of those operations or four of those operators we have the not operator which is the exclamation point uh, we have the and operator which is the double ampersands or the double and signs um, we have the or operator which is done with these double pipes and we have the XOR operator which is um, uh, represented with this caret here. And in order to understand these or just to, to see how they work, um, we have a mechanism called a truth table. And the truth table simply shows us what the possibilities are for a given number of variables and for each of the operations that can be, form be performed on those uh, Boolean variables. In the case of example 3 in the text, we have two variables and um, as you've pro as some of you may have already surmised that when you have two variables that can only have two possible answers in the variables or two possible states, a true or a false, we have a possibility of four different combinations for those variables. And that's why we have four different rows because they represent what A and B can be. They can either both be false, A can be, or A can be false and B can be true, or the opposite of that, A could be true or B could be false, or they could both be true. Those are the only possible combinations, and so our truth table can only have four uh, rows in it when you're dealing with two Boolean variables. So now the rest of the truth table is calculated by basically running the operation against the variables inside each of these cells and um, seeing what you get. The not uh, is a very simple operator. It basically reverses uh, what came into it. So for example, for the first row, A is false, and so when you put the not on A, you're going to end up with true, and same for B in this instance. On row 2, we have A is still false, so it's going to return true, but B is true, which means the not would return a false. Uh, and we'll go ahead and have the opposite here and fill these out real quickly. And of course, the opposite of two trues is two falses. And uh, as you can see, that's pretty basic there. Um, the AND operator, the way that it works, is both conditions have to be true in order for this operation, this mathematical statement, to also be true. So for example, when I say A and B, when A is false and B is false, the result of that is going to also be false. And, b and basically lines 2 and 3 are going to be the same because we have at least one of them being false. And the only one that's going to return true is the last one since that's the only you know combination where both are true. The OR on the other hand is uh, either of the two Boolean variables can be true and it will return true. So when you're two falses, obviously you're still going to be false. Uh, when you have one false and one true here, A is false, B is true, you're going to return true because this, the OR only requires one of them to be true. So same for this one and the last one also is going to be true because at least one of them is true. Now the XOR is similar to the OR, the exclusive OR is the full name for that. Um, but it has one uh, slight or one additional restraint on there, and that is that 
they cannot be the same. The things that are being compared cannot both be the same, uh, or it will return false. So in the first one, it's false basically because both of them are false to begin with. Uh, lines 2 and 3 are both going to be true because one of them is true and only one of them is true. And the last one is going to return false because both of them are true. And as we mentioned before, the XOR requires that they not be the same or it will return false. And so that's what we get there. Um, that's kind of uh, a, a brief explanation of the four Boolean operators that we are talking about this week. Uh, showing you an example of filling out a truth table. And we're going to go ahead and leave uh, this screencast at that. And the next one will go into a little more complex um, operations. So.